What's up, YouTubers? So, world's gone crazy. What do you expect? So, I figured I'd be out here in the garage and show you a little bit of things I have got done. Haven't got much done because the kids are home from school for a month. A month. So, and we have to teach them apparently too. They're going to send us a schoolwork. So, anyways, figured some little product I've done and um, haven't got all the way to test it, but I'm liking it so far. So, what we've done is, I don't know if that's going to show up here. There we go. We coated some pistons. These are for the 1800cc build, and that's a ceramic coating on there. It sprays on, and they have two versions. You have a version that um, you have to cure an oven, and this is the air cure setup. It's by Crea Coat. Let's see if I can get this up here. It's going to be backwards because, yes, I am using the uh, face selfie side of the camera. But anyways, it's um, Series V-139. Um, what I'm going to tell you about this stuff is, number one, it does not take a lot to coat a set of pistons for a Volkswagen. One bottle will be plenty. You don't have to mix it. What you do need to do is do it outside. Do it away from any sort of wildlife or whatever. Because that stuff is probably more crazy contaminating than this virus. That stuff is bad. So, what did I shoot it with? I don't have a big compressor or anything like that. What I went and did was I got a little Amazon um, airbrush gun. I think it was 40 or 50 bucks. can't remember. It neat thing about this thing. It is uh, USB powered. It has its own battery and its own pump in there. This worked perfect. One cup full of this. Go to the piston twice. So, was pretty happy with that. Uh, I think it was called Gochi or something. There's several different brands, but it charges up. That right there was a pretty good investment for that. So, I do plan on trying to test these pistons. I don't have a really good way to test, test them. But I was thinking about doing is putting a torch to the head of the piston of a p coated piston and a non-coated piston. And measure the back side of the piston with my infrared heat gun to see you know if I leave the torch there for a minute or two minutes or whatever how much the temperature difference is between both of them um, I've heard of a guy who did that on a motorcycle forum and he wrote it all down but no video so I'll probably do video of that if I get time but that's about it for right now we got the pistons coated um, switching the heads from dual port to single port because the heads that were for the dual port just had a little too many problems there was a once I sandblasted them and looked at on the exhaust valve bosses. The, the, the bosses for the valve guides were cracked. So, you know, it's kind of like, man, I don't want to put any effort into these. So we're going back single port because I have a really good set of single ports I got from VW Darren. And we'll use those. We'll clean up the ports a little bit, but we're not going to go crazy on those. Um, just want to build the most torque I can for the displacement at the lowest RPM. Instead of stock single ports, I think we'll do that. Just clean up underneath the valve. So that's about it, boys and girls. Hopefully you have plenty of toilet paper. I don't. I still don't understand that. <laughs> I really don't. I know you're going to be inside, but there's a calculator now out there. Go go do the math. You don't need six Godzilla size of Costco things. I mean, you know, people have toilet paper for the next seven years. So hopefully the toilet paper companies are taking that into account and not want to spend all their money because. Uh, Nobody's going to buy it for the next five years. Anyways, boys and girls, hope you're all doing good out there. Get your mind off things. Get out there working in the garage. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new subscribers. And watch some of my previous videos. you got plenty of time, apparently. So, I'll see you guys later. I'll try and get some more videos out there. And we'll see if this works. Hopefully it does. So, I'll try and figure out a way to test that. And I'll give you guys the information on it. See you guys later.